How are we doing guys and welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Now our first ever video back in 2015 was Champagne Cocktails. So volume two is well overdue and with Valentine's Day coming up, we thought you might like a bit of fizz in your life. So here's another five easy and delicious champagne cocktails. All right guys, first up is a drink called an Airmail. This one's been around since the 1930s. I think it first appeared in a promotional pamphlet from Bacardi called Bacardi and its many uses. So we should probably be using Bacardi in this one, but we're gonna use different rum. Uh, we're gonna start with our first ingredients, which is 15 mils of honey syrup. So that's two parts honey, one part water. Then we're gonna go with 10 mils of lime juice, 25 mils of our golden rum. So we're using Banks number five. Uh, like I said, you should probably be using Bacardi eight or something like that. And we're gonna give this a quick shake. Remember we're topping this with fizz, so don't overshake that. All right, now where a lot of people go wrong with this drink, and I 100% have been guilty of doing this, is serving this one up, uh, either in a coupe or a flute. But originally, and I think this is a better way, is actually served on the rocks, either in a highball, or our highballs are quite big, so we're just gonna go with the double rocks. So we just strain that into there, and then we top with this. And we're just gonna finish that with a couple of mint sprigs. And that is an airmail. All right guys, next up is a drink called an Ivy Gimlet Royale. And I'm not 100% sure of the origin of this recipe, but Ivy bit, I guess, comes from the first ingredient, which is some mint leaves. So we're just gonna give them a slap and chuck it in our shaker. Um, gimlet, we know, is a you know vodka or gin mixed with lime cordial. Um, but we're using simple syrup and lime juice. A gimlet, incidentally, um, is a tool used on Royal Navy ships to tap barrels of booze. And we were speaking about um, grog a few videos ago, so there's another reason why I should do a naval-related drinking. And incidentally, the lime juice would ha had sugar in it to preserve it, and every ship would have had a lime ration to prevent scurvy. And also that's why Americans call us limeys. So there you go. Uh, so that's our lime juice and simple syrup. Next up is our gin. You can use vodka or gin in this drink. We're gonna go gin, 25 mils. And we'll give that a quick shake. We're gonna serve this one up in a coupette. You definitely wanna fine strain this one because there's gonna be little bits of mint in there. And then just top with fizz. You can float a little mint leaf on there if you, if you fancy. It's entirely up to you. Probably doesn't need it, but there you go. Ivy Gimlet Royale. Guys, you know this channel is all about learning and sharing knowledge, so it's always a pleasure when Skillshare asks to sponsor a video. As I'm sure you know, Skillshare is one of the largest online learning platforms with an absolute abundance of online courses for you to try. You know, as a YouTuber, there's a few fundamental skills you need. Videography, obviously, editing, audio recording, and stills photography. Now, I'm getting pretty confident with the videography and my editing's coming along, but I've really neglected my stills photography. And you know, our Instagram channels are growing. I need thumbnails for the YouTube videos. So I decided that I need to up my stills game. And I've been doing that by following a course called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by a chap called Justin Bridges. Justin's course is fantastic. My only regret is I didn't take it months ago. You know, he takes complex photography concepts like depth of field, the exposure triangle, the rule of thirds, stuff that took me months to get my head around and just breaks it down into bite-sized modules that are easy to understand and to retain. So if you want to try Justin's course or any of the other courses Skillshare have on offer, the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So make sure you click that link and go and have an explore on Skillshare. I guarantee there is something on there for everybody. Right, next up we are gonna make a drink called a champagne pick-me-up. 
Uh, this is a cognac based drink. We're gonna start with our first ingredients, which is um, orange juice. We're gonna go 50 mils. Next, you want some grenadine. You want five to 10 mils of grenadine, depending on how sweet your grenadine is. Let's have a little play. Next up, our cognac. We're using Hennessy VS, 25 mils. We'll give that a quick shake. I think this cocktail dates back to 1930s um, from the Ritz in Paris. And they say that pick-me-up cocktails are designed to be drunk all day, like starting from breakfast. So, I mean, I guess probably that's where the mimosa and the Bucks Fizz came from there. I suppose you call them pick-me-ups. Right? Yeah. I'm going to strain that into a Nick and Nora. You can use a wine glass if you like. Top with fizz. And then you garnish with some seasonal fruit. And as I said recently, figs are my absolute favourite fruit. And I'm going to start using them more. So I'm going to garnish that with a bit of fig. Champagne pick me up. All right, guys, next up is a drink called the Player Cocktail, invented, as you can imagine, at the Player Bar in um, Broadwick Street here in sunny London. We're going to start with our first ingredient, which is 20 mils of maple syrup. This is, we're building this straight in the glass, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. 20 mils of strawberry puree, and I literally just made this by chucking a handful of strawberries in a blender. 20 mils of lemon juice. 25 mils of pressed apple juice. 50 mils of Reposado tequila. We're using El Jimador. Bit of ice. If you're not comfortable doing what I'm about to do now, it's called a cap shake. Yeah, you can just give it a quick shake. And a cocktail shaker. more ice, straw, and top with fizz. Incidentally, I'm not actually using champagne uh, here. I'm using something called Cremant, which is a uh, sort of French sparkling wine. And if you get one that's made in the um, method Champenoise, it's almost identical. And actually, it's quite nice and a lot cheaper. That was the point I was trying to get at. If you don't want to waste expensive champagne in cocktails, Use Clement or Prosecco or Carver, whatever. Strawberry on the rim, lime wedge, and that is a player. All right, guys, we're going from the player on Broadwick Street, around the corner to Poland Street and Milk and Honey, another great Soho bar that we've sadly lost and will be missed greatly. And we're gonna pay tribute to them with a drink called a Knickerbocker Royale. It's a shake and drink. Um, and we're going to start with our first ingredient, which is two, three fresh raspberries. We'll give them a, a muddle. And actually, it's not strictly a, a milk and honey original, this drink. It's, it actually is from Jerry Thomas's 1862 Bartender's Guide. Um, and he used raspberry syrup instead of fresh raspberries. But we're going fresh. Next, we need 10 mils of simple syrup. Five mils of lemon juice. 10 mils of dry orange curacao. And we're gonna push the boat out with 25 mils of Zacapa 23. Give that a shake. fine strain that into a chilled champagne flute. Finish off with our fizz. 
And we can leave that naked or we can drop in another raspberry. And that is a Knickerbocker Royale. All right, guys, there was five easy champagne cocktails for you to have a go at. Let us know how you get on with those down in the comments. If you fancy a laugh, go and have a look at our original video from 2015 and see how far we've come. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you soon. It's called Bacardi and its many uses. Um, it's, sorry, I'm not 100% sure of the origination of this. I'm gonna just do that again. So the first thousand people, for the first thousand people that click the, for the first thousand people that click the link down in the description, get a free trial of Skillshare Premium around the corner to Poland Street and Milk and Honey in, uh, in with a drink called the Nicker Boca Royale. It, it, actually, it's not originating from the. Um, oh, you motherfucker! I was worried about getting that out, and then I got it out, and then I fucked it up on something stupid afterwards. Jerry Thomas is. 1862, got that date wrong. Yeah, no, it's not, I haven't. <laughs> All right, one more time, one more time.